It is done. It took us 90 games at nearly 2k DPG, but it is now done. We have three marks. We have the ace. Everything is good. Today I'm going to be going through one game live just to show you a little bit about the tank. Just, you know, I said that it was the, the, the last video was going to be the last M6 video, but you know, I mean, technically I forgot that this would be the last one once it's free marked because then I'll do like a review on the tank um, after free marking it. So this would definitely be the last one. And then next week we move on to the T29. And as you can see, we do also have 27k XP accumulated from when we were just playing the M6 and just playing the game as well as <laughs> nearly 13 million. And people have asked, how do I get so much money? I just play the game. Like, through the referral program, I don't see why anyone would be joining the game and not going through a referral program. If you don't have a friend, if you don't have anything, ask someone in, like, my community, for example. Join the Discord down below and just ask, has anyone got a referral code that I can use? And as long as you haven't played the game in less than 60 days or have less than a certain amount, uh, actually, I should... I be able to tell you here the player has fought less than 200 battles in all game modes or has not played in the last 60 days since the last battle so if you match those requirements you should be able to receive an invite from anyone that has um, the ability to send out a recruitment and then you'll be able to get you know your rewards and you will gain like 50 percent credits just for playing the game as you go which is super nice and then you get rewards, they get rewards, everyone gets rewards, it's a win-win. Moving on to the M6. This was not that painful, to be honest. It was a little bit annoying, um, kind of, when they, when you get those games, with, with marking any tank, when you get those games where you don't move, that's the, that's the annoying ones. Uh, that's the ones that get you annoyed. But on the most part, we were moving quite steadily. We didn't really have any negative drops because, like, to be honest, the marking requirements aren't that bad. Um, you know, it's only 2k for 95%. And you can do that relatively easily in this tank. Um, especially, you know, with that 240 alpha. And decent enough mobility and armor. Most of the time you can get 2k out of the game. Even if you're just kind of doing that 50-50 between spotting and actual damage. Speaking about the armor on this thing, it is kind of non-existent if you know where to aim. Um, you can easily go through the roof on this thing with AP. Um, you can easily go straight here, here. Like, it's not very well armoured. And I wasn't struggling even with AP. If you use APCR, though, this thing becomes an absolute monster. Like, 240 pen at tier 6 is so nice. Like, I reckon I would get out maybe one or two more shots per game if I'd fired APCR. So I reckon I could roughly average about 2.5k DPG on this thing um, if I was firing full APCR. That being said, that does mean that I wasn't really, you know, bouncing anything that I would have otherwise been penning um, if I didn't have, uh, if I did have APCR. But when you come up against tanks that have armor, such as the OI, the OI caused me absolute nightmares in this thing. Um, it was very, very hard to deal with. You shouldn't be doing what I'm doing, right? You should be using food. You should be using some APCR, even if it's something like this, right? That is more than enough to deal with the, the opponents that you meet. So if you're, you know, even if you're free to play, something like this. Right? Just because you're free to play does not mean that you don't spam gold or you don't use food. And like, I'm not going to go into a deep discussion now about, you know, free to play and all of this like I, I can't I cannot be bothered to do that you can afford to fire a little bit of gold everyone can and if you can't you're lying to yourself anyway let's go and play one game and then I'm going to follow it up with a I think my best game that I had in the tank which was kind of impressive it seems like everyone just ignored me in that game so that was quite interesting um, and then we'll move on to the third mark game, uh, which was, again, a very interesting game, but for different reasons. <laughs> so, let's go and play a game. Okay, so we are on Empire's Border. 
Uh, what tanks are going to cause me issues? Well, the S-51, obviously. Um, Bishop, obviously. Um, I'll tell you what tank really does cause me issues. The SU-101, and I'm glad that he's on my team and not the enemy team, because that thing is not nice to play against. It's really not nice to play against, actually. Um, so, we'll see. We'll get up to the corner bit, and which is just ahead, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, so our ELC is actually in a sneaky position, which is spotting quite a lot of enemies. And I think what I'm going to do is just go forwards, because why not? Um, there is obviously Churchill 7 here. I would like to try and get some shots off on this guy. There we go, one in. Now, can I get to this next rock? Because that will then allow me to start farming this Cromwell, for example. Very nice. We'll put another one in in a second. Very, very nice. And maybe we'll put one into this guy as well. That didn't quite go where I aimed it, but whatever. And, of course, the S51 being extremely balanced. And only doing... You know, 400 splash damage. <laughs> Clearly it doesn't do enough in this game. Um, is this guy going to peek again? Probably not. So what would I like to do in this scenario? I would like to try and get a shot off on this Churchill 7. It's kind of annoying. But I also want to move back here because I want to get out the way of this artillery, especially the S51. Um, I don't believe the S-51 has loads of uh, gun arc. I don't think it's gun arc is that good. Is what I'm trying to say. You kill him with relative ease. Um, that's kind of annoying. Uh, this is okay so far. Are you going to peek again, Mr. T-34? You know, if you are, I'm going to try and go up a little bit. Like, up here or something, just to try and get my armor... ...be a little bit more effective. We have our ARL pushing up as well, so this T-34 is going to have to push down in a second, and I believe I spot him regardless. So, I don't think he's... Yeah, he's not moved anywhere yet. But that ARL should eat him alive. And what we're going to do now is just push forwards a little bit. We know that the S-51 is at the very back of the map. Um, so, we should be able to push this, hopefully. Um, without taking too much... Damage. It seems the bishop has also moved back. Put one into him. Unfortunately, though, the S-51 is going to be ready to fire in a second. And Bishop is... Okay. That's absolutely fine. And we're just trying to stay out the way of the S-51 if we can. So just keep a bit of distance and keep behind this rock if we can. This guy is not enjoying himself. This guy's really not enjoying himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I so the S51 is like back here. Which means that I'm just going to have to wait. The only problem with waiting is that T1 Heavy and friends are going to come back, especially that Basotto. The Basotto is going to cause me issues. Um, so I'm going to have to try and get... ...forwards a little bit here. There's the S51. Do I have a shot on him? I want to be able to get a shot on him. He's fired, which is really good. Hopefully I can kill him. No, that's fine though. And we can move on to the T1 Heavy. 
As long as we use... Okay, the Bersotto's over there. Is quite annoying. Especially if he's got a big gun, because that means he can one-shot us. So we need to be careful of that. I'm going to go forwards and just see if I can spot him. He's over there. Ugh. I thought he was going to be down here. He's actually all the way up here. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. We win. Um, and, yeah, there you go. 3.2k. So that is the M6. It's a good tank. It is a, definitely a good tank. But it is now time to say goodbye to the M6. So we can send everything to the depot. Very good. Send to barracks. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, actually, I believe... Do these get upgraded now? Or are they still class 2? They're all still class 2. Okay, that's fine. So we can go ahead, sell, and put everything into there. All the ammo can be sold as well. And I believe that is everything. Goodbye, M6. You are very, very good. And saying hello to T29. And we'll sort out all the research and stuff and equipment and whatnot in the next episode. Um, once we get playing the T29. Interestingly, it's about one shot of damage difference between marking the T29 and marking the M6. So hopefully this should be pretty painless. Either way, I'm now going to show you the best game I had in the M6. And then the third mark game for the M6 that we done yesterday. Which is all on Twitch. So if you want to go and follow there, you can do. I don't know. I haven't looked at them. This guy might be the luckiest thing I've ever seen in my life. The amount he's just missed. Let's see if we can deal with this now. He's just fired once. There's a lot of enemies around that corner that I didn't really realise. This is reload. Decent.
Alright then. Nice. Nearly 2k base. I mean, it's Fisherman's Bay, which is depressing, but tier six is finally. So after they get un so after they get unspotted, there's like a few seconds where you can still receive the the uh, bonus if someone shoots them. I mean, there's still an M44 and an FV304. You know how many? No, it won't tell you until after the game. Actually, I should still go for this, by the way. Because they shouldn't push this. That's a free 1k damage. Now we can leave. There you go. Even with this absolutely useless team. Which way is this AMX coming? No more M6. Thank God. Oh.